Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the GUI, what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today you are watching adding multi-threading to YouTube DL through Rust. Uh, first of all, I want to say that it's been a while since my last video and uh, the reason for this is that uh, this is a quite uh, busy time of the year, both due to work, uh, I have some uh, extra stuff to do, but at the same time, uh, it's the time of the year that uh, every big um, athletic event is coming to an end. So we have the NBA Finals, uh, the NBA Playoffs, and then the NBA Finals. We also have the final rounds of the Champions League, etc. So since I like sports, I tend to watch these things and these things need some time so yeah this is a combination of work and pleasure so this is one of the reasons that I haven't posted any videos recently but uh, today I am posting this video and as you can see it is related again to Rust and to YouTube DL so to give you some context uh, I believe that most of you are aware of the YouTube DL uh, um, <clears throat> tool and we all use it to download uh, stuff from the internet uh, and uh, I have been using to this tool of course for quite some time um, but I was you know always uh, having the problem that uh, this is not a multi-threaded tool and uh, you always had to download stuff sequentially Although there are some um, some solutions uh, after me searching about the possible solution, I saw that there are some solutions uh, by using an external downloader. Uh, but uh, I thought to myself that I wanted to make a tool based on Rust to solve my specific problem. And just to come to show you what I mean, for example, what I used to do, and I suppose all of, all of us do, is that if I wanted to download multiple things with YouTube uh, DL, uh, I would run a loop and uh, they, it would download all these uh, URLs. Or there are alternate solutions, you know, having all your URLs in a file, etc. But the problem is, the issue is that all these downloads are sequential. So there's no parallelism to, to this uh, operation. And so it takes a lot of time. <clears throat> and as I said, I looked into the problem and I saw that many people ask about this. And I decided to write a small tool uh, for myself initially, but you know, you never know how this uh, can go since this tool might be useful to many people. And uh, what I did was to write this small wrapper as uh, as you see here, I, I say that I add multi-threading to YouTube DL through Rust. And what I mean is if I show you the program, first of all, I have it on GitHub. So yeah, if you find it useful and want to collaborate on it and add uh, extra uh, functionalities. For example, some thought of mine is that this could become a full-blown proxy for you, YouTube DL. So you can provide all the arguments to this wrapper and this wrapper will proxy the arguments to YouTube uh, DL. And at the, on top of it, also add uh, multi-threading as it already does. But we'll see how it goes in the future for now. This tool solves my specific problem. So I will show you the current state of the of the tool. So this is the tool. It's quite uh, simple, I would say. Not too, too many things going on there. We just uh, currently I just uh, collect the arguments which are expected to be URLs. I validate them and then I just use uh, Rayon. As you can see here, I use the Rayon uh, parallel iterator and for each argument that was provided for each URL, I spawn a YouTube DL process. Uh, currently, I have hard coded these uh, arguments, as you can see, but as I said, this is for my specific use case, but these 
in the future, if there is uh, interest for the tool, as I said, uh, this can be be provided as arguments to this proxy uh, Rust application. And I spawn uh, a command for each URL and I execute it and I uh, do stuff with the output, etc. These are uh, uh, details, but the, the essence is that uh, we use Rayon uh, in order to parallelize the download. So this is uh, in essence the tool and I just, I will also make a small demonstration. So as I said, this is the old way of doing things. I would run a loop and download all these uh, URLs one after the other. But in this case, specific case, I already have prepared some, uh, some URLs as you can see here. These are all um, songs from YouTube. And this is how I will run them. Uh, before we do it though, just a small note that I have, uh, um, I use this, um, this YouTube, the latest uh, release, because there is a problem with YouTube DL currently and downloading uh, stuff from uh, YouTube. There is a problem and uh, the, the operation fails due to a regex, etc. It's something that it is known within the YouTube DL uh, community and it is being worked on and the latest release I suppose would have the fix but uh, I have uh, created a link uh, to this latest download and this works so even though that I'm calling the YouTube DL um, binary I have this soft link and it actually uh, you know executes uh, this uh, this latest download uh, I just say this in order for you not to have questions if you try to do it yourself and it fails. So, yeah, let's come back here. Uh, what we will do is we will uh, build our binary. We don't need this anymore. We will build our binary and we will execute and we want to provide all these URLs. So I will copy them. I will make a copy here. And I will prepare them so we have them all as arguments to the binary and we are good to go. We copy this, we come here, we paste and as you can see we only have the, the files of the program here, nothing else. So let's start executing. As you can see, it is working and it started uh, downloading all these all these uh, files, all these uh, URLs. Ah, it's done. We just couldn't see it because it was, you know, bad formatting. But it's done, as you can see. So everything is downloaded. Uh, yeah, so I will wrap the video up here. This is the tool, as I said. You can comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you like the videos. And uh, also, if you like this tool and uh, think that it has potential, you can... Uh, you can comment on the GitHub repository or, uh, you know, start, let's start expanding this and add uh, command line arguments, etc. And maybe uh, transform it into a very nice uh, wrapper for YouTube DL. So thank you for watching and have a great day.